Hi, Jeremy here with 3D Universe. Today I'm going to be showing you some online resources that can help you get started with your laser cutter projects. Whether you're looking to create your own designs or download ready to use project files, I'll show you some of the sites that I've found to be most useful. So let's get started. So if you're looking to create your own custom designs, you're going to need a vector design tool. One of the most popular options is Adobe Illustrator. Now this is a commercial tool, so you would have to pay for it, but they do have a free download available so that you can try it out before you buy. Another popular commercial option is Corel Draw. Once again, a free trial is available for download. But there are also some great free options available. One of the most popular of these is Inkscape. This is available for multiple platforms, and it's a full-featured vector design program, so it's definitely worth checking out. And if you're interested in using Inkscape, but you'd rather not download and install any software, you can use Roll App to launch it in your browser. Another free option is called Vector, spelled V-E-C-T-R. This is another online browser-based tool, so there's no software to install. It works very much like Tinkercad if you've ever used that for 3D modeling. LibreOffice is a popular open source alternative to Microsoft Office, and the LibreOffice Draw component is a capable vector design tool. Since it's a free download, it might be worth checking out. And for the last tool in this category, there's SVG Edit. This is a simple browser-based SVG editing tool that allows you to create basic vector designs. It doesn't have some of the more powerful features that some of the other tools do, but if you're looking for something that's simple and easy to use, this might be worth a look. So if you're looking to just find projects online that you can download and quickly get started with on your laser cutter instead of creating your own original designs, there are lots of sites you can use for that. One of my favorites is Thingiverse. This site is more well known for downloading 3D printable objects or STL files, but they also have a huge collection of laser cutter projects. Just do a search for the keyword laser cut, followed by a topic of your choice, and you'll find all kinds of projects that are ready to use. Many of the projects on Thingiverse also have instructions that can be helpful with the cutting and assembly process. In most cases, you'll find that the files for these projects are available as SVG or PDF files ready to use with your laser cutter, but in some cases, there will be other file formats, such as DXF, and I'll show you a tool a little bit later in this video that you can use to convert those files. Another great resource is Dremel's Laser Cutter Projects page. They have some great projects here, which include very detailed instructions and video tutorials. They also have some nice leatherworking projects from their partners over at Tactile Craftworks. Another handy site is Obrary. Obrary focuses on open source designs, which includes a number of laser cutter projects. They don't have nearly the same quantity as Thingiverse, but you will find some nice designs here. You can just search for laser cutter, followed by the topic of your choice. Laser cut also works. So for example, I'll look for a laser cutter cube, and we find our way to this design. Another one of my favorite sites is Monica's Creative Room. This site features lots of designs that are optimized for thinner materials, such as cardstock. I found working with poster board to be a lot of fun with the laser cutter. You can do things like creating fancy edged cards for your gift giving, and then etch custom designs and messages inside of them. You can also find laser cutter projects on Pinterest. The best way I've found to do this is to search for laser cut, one word, and the keyword SVG, followed by the topic of your choice. So for example, if we search for laser cut SVG horse, we'll get a number of horse related SVG files that are available for download. Another great place to find laser cutter projects is Etsy. Once again, you'll want to search for laser cut SVG and then the topic of your choice. So for example, if we search for laser cut SVG train, we'll find a bunch of train designs. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of results. Most of these are paid designs, and they may cost a few dollars, but if you're willing to spend a few bucks, you can find some really nice things here. For some examples, be sure to check out our other video, Dremel LC40 Project Examples. You can also use Google to find laser cutter projects. There are a few ways of doing this. 
One way is to search for laser cut SVG and then a topic of your choice. And then go to the images tab. And here you'll find quite a few SVG files available for download. You can also use the advanced search feature, put in a keyword of your choice, and then set the file type to SVG. And this will also give you a collection of SVG files that you can download. To give you a few more project possibilities, here are a few task-specific tools. This first one is a jigsaw puzzle generator. You can use the top slider here to specify a seed value. You can adjust the tab size. You can adjust this jitter value. And then you can specify how many tiles you want in each direction and how large you want it to be. Then you just click this button to create an SVG file ready to use. And if you're looking to make a box on your laser cutter, be sure to check out makeabox.io. All you need to do is specify your units and orientation, give the internal dimensions of the box that you're looking to create, the thickness of your material, and the width of the tabs used to connect the sides together. Then click download PDF and you've got a file ready to load into your laser cutter software. Another helpful tool is cloudconvert.com. Sometimes when you're finding your laser cutter projects online, you'll come across file formats other than what you were expecting. One common example that I come across a lot is DXF files, which are not compatible with Dremel's laser cutter software. So you can load your DXF file in here and convert that file into an SVG. Here we are uploading that file, just converting it. And now we have a file that we can download and it's ready to use in our laser cutter software. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll catch our other videos as they become available. We have a whole series planned for the Dremel LC40 laser cutter. Our next videos will be project specific, where we'll take you start to finish through a project, including downloading the files, getting it set up in the software, and then doing the final assembly. So stay tuned. See you next time.